Hello and welcome to what's another pointless speculative tech video, but this time without the annoying sound effects. Ah! Ugh, except for that one. Um, that's the last one, I promise. Now AMD's Ryzen CPUs came out a while ago, and on the kind of tech scale of time, it's been years since the release of Ryzen, which means they're due for a refresh. Now this video isn't about whether or not they're getting a refresh, because, well, they definitely are, and it's also not about when that refresh is going to happen, because honestly, the dates change faster than sex partners at a swingers party. This video is about what to expect with this actual refresh. Now, first off, this refresh is codenamed Pinnacle Ridge, and there have been kind of mixed expectations on the internet. Not too long ago, there were slides released, which were very obviously fake, but a lot of people reported on them as though they were true. In fact, I released a video about it in which I kind of like mockingly set a tone about how people thought this was true, even though the slides had like fake plastered in the background all over it. But essentially what these slides said was that they're going to be releasing a 2800X, which is gonna have 12 cores, 24 threads, and gonna boost up to 5.1 gigahertz. Which is ridiculous, right? If that actually happened, the Pinnacle Ridge CPUs would be an absolute revolution in CPU performance. But I'm here to tell you that that isn't the case. Essentially what you're gonna get is maybe a 10% increase in performance if you're lucky, and pretty much not much more than that. So if you already have a Ryzen CPU, there isn't much of a reason to upgrade. Now, let me get into three of the reasons why I think this is the case. Yay, it's time for another list. Now, reason number one is that they don't have a huge amount of reason to, at this point, offer a huge performance increase because, well, they're pretty competitive as it is, and especially on the price front. When looking at Ryzen 7, for example, yes, I know the 8700K is way more powerful, but on Amazon, you can get a 1700, which you can overclock fairly easily to around 3.8 gigahertz for about $290, whereas the 8700K goes for $100 more than that. And it doesn't perform $100 better, in my opinion. And the story is fairly similar all the way down the product stack. So at this point, even with their current generation of Ryzen CPUs, AMD is still very competitive. So if they just give you a small bump in performance, that's more than enough. And reason number two is that while well, AMD has pretty much straight up said that there isn't going to be a huge improvement, and I think one of the reasons they did that is to try and rein in the excitement that that fake slide release produced. So in the official slides, or well, I mean, I say official, but the more official slides that have been leaked from AMD, they all hint to the main difference between Pinnacle Ridge and... I think it was Summit Ridge was the code name for the current Ryzen generation, is that Summit Ridge used 16 nanometer fabrication, whereas Pinnacle Ridge is going to use a 12 nanometer fabrication process. Now the difference that that makes is it means that Pinnacle Ridge is going to clock slightly higher and that it might be a bit more power efficient. So instead of getting a max overclock of like 4 gigahertz with the current CPUs, you might look at like 4.4 gigahertz if you're lucky. Uh, they've also said, though, that they have been tweaking the architecture a bit, so you might get a small increase in IPC performance. But all of this adds together to a fairly just kind of generational improvement, as opposed to a completely, like, overhauled, more powerful product. And the same actually goes for the motherboard chipset that it's going to be using. Um, it's called X470 as opposed to the X370 of the current CPUs. And it's pretty much the same motherboard chipset. The only difference, or at least the biggest difference, is the fact that it has a kind of newer PCI Express communication interface. Um, but yeah, so even AMD has pretty much straight up said that there isn't going to be a huge improvement. And now let's finally go to reason number three, which I think is a bit more flimsy than the first two reasons, but I feel that they're enough to give a good indication that Pinnacle Ridge is going to be a very small upgrade and that we shouldn't expect a 12 core, 24 thread, 5.1 gigahertz monster. And th this reason is that essentially 
getting a huge increase in performance from a CPU is really difficult and it costs a lot of money and research for a company like AMD to achieve. And if your current generation of CPUs are still competitive when you release the new generation, why are you going to release something that's hugely revolutionary and offers like a 30% increase in performance? It just isn't necessary. And then you're spending your party trick when you don't necessarily have to. And the thing is, I think Intel has kind of shown us that this is what chip manufacturers do when they don't have kind of overwhelming competition. Because for the five years that AMD posed no threat to Intel, they just kind of released the same CPU the whole time. That every now and then you'd get kind of like a die shrink if you were lucky. But more than that, you were getting like a 7% performance increase each time. And yeah, I think this is a pretty good indication of how the market trend works with CPU manufacturers. Uh, yeah, so if you were waiting for some new powerhouse CPU from AMD, I think you're going to be a bit disappointed. But it doesn't mean that it's going to be a bad CPU. Higher clock speeds and more efficiency is always good, and it's nothing to complain about. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll link some of the news stories in the description below so that you can see more or less where I get my information from. And yes, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.